Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa. Amen. Haleluya kanisa ya Yesu. Amen. Kwa majina naitwa Margaret Mkangai, nimeokoka mchana wa leo na Yesu ni Bwana. Mm. Wakati tulikuwa wakati wa kwanza, wakati tulikuwa roho wa Mungu ana, anafanya kazi, niliweza kuchukuliwa na wakati nilichukuliwa nikaweza kuwa nina Ninaita Yesu, Yesu na nikaona Yesu amekaa katika mawingu na alikuwa na malaika na alikuwa amevaa nguo nyeupe na malaika walikuwa na nguo nyeupe na akanichukua akanipeleka kwa lango kubwa na wakati lango lilifunguliwa tukaingia nikaweza kuona it was like a gated community na nikaweza kuona nyumba na hiyo nyumba nikatamani ifunguliwe mm. it's like at the back of my mind mm. ninasema is this my house mm. lakini nyumba haikufunguliwa mm. tukiwa bado tuko pale tukatoka nikakuja nikajipata niko katika maua mm. na, sa, na ikawa nyimbo inaimbwa mm. ni mama apostle alikuwa anaimba na but i was that time nilikuwa huko mbinguni nika, nika, nikasikia wimbo inaimbwa na hiyo wimbo vile ilikuwa inaimbwa nikiangalia sioni watu wanaimba sioni malaika wanaimba wakati niliangalia, nili, niliangalia kwa makini nikaona sauti zile zinaimba zinatoka kwa maua na maua ilikuwa maua nzuri sana maua imekana in a glorious way mm. na hiyo maua iko ndani ya maji mm. maji imetulia kabisa maji nyeupe mm. lakini maua inaimba mm. so nikaangalia hivi nikaangalia nikaangalia and then nika nikasikia sauti inaniambia sasa anza kuabudu mm. na wakati nilianza kuabudu nikarudi nikaamka kwa muka nikapata nimezungukwa na wanakwaya na wanaimba na hata mimi nikaanza kuabudu tu nikiimba. Mm. Na mara ya pili nimechukuliwa wakati nimeombewa na mtumishi aposto mm. nikaenda nikarudia tena hiyo maono nilikuwa nimeona pale. Mm. Yesu akanichukua akanipeleka kwenye hiyo lango. Mm. Lango ikafunguliwa. Nikaangalia nikaona ifunguki tukasimama tu but the place is very glorious kuna kuna ka very glorious very good nika nikatoka hapo wakati nilitoka hapo nikaenda nikapata mahali kuna uwanja hiyo uwanja iko na two hills na two valleys lakini nyasi ni green na imekatwa vizuri kabisa so wakati tulikuwa hapo nikaona malaika wanaabudu na nyimbo ilikuwa inaimbwa na kuabudu Mungu na kuabudu Mungu wangu. Wakati nilitoka pale nikasongeshwa nikapata kuna kuna kulikuwa na nyumba nzuri sana kama castles. Kulikuwa na nyumba very good kama zile tunaona kwa wakati mwingine kwa wazungu kule kama castles mm. and then nikaona mzee huyu mzee alikuwa na nywele nyeupe nikaweza kufahamu huyu mzee ni Musa akawa na fimbo inakaa hivi mm. so nikaona pia Elijah mm. na nyumba zao zilikuwa nzuri sana mm. wakati niliangalia nikaonyeshwa nyumba yangu mm. hii nyumba yangu ilikuwa tu Matifadi imefika kwa madrisha. Mm. Haijaenda mahali, haina chochote, imefika tu kwa madrisha. Mm. Nikaambiwa sauti nikaniambia you have to work hard ndio uweze kuwa na nyumba kama hii. Hii time imebak. Mm. Work hard for you to have a house like this. So wakati nilipokuwa nimesimama hapo, sauti ikaniambia I've called you nikapewa Isaya 42:6 to 7 I have called you to serve me in the righteous and holiness to set free captives na nikaamka Wow Very good Bila shaka hata muona nyumba yake So that means kwa saa hii kesi ukitoka duniani hauna mali pa kwenda kuishi uh, na God won't be unfair kuchukua saa hii maana hauna nyumba. Sasa nyumba yako lazima ujenge. Sisi ujenga manyumba kama tungali wapi? Duniani kazi zako zitakufuata. So every time you do the work of God here, 
unamalizia nyumba yako so mali umefikia kiroho ni kwamba hata dirisha bado haziko bado uko mbali ile miaka mbakisha mbakisha hizo miaka ambazo unazo duniani fanya kazi ya Mungu so umeitiwa nini Isaiah 42 verse number 6 to verse number 7 that if i'm not wrong that verse will say kwamba uh, vile Yesu kazi yake ni kufungua watu wafungwa macho kuwatoa katika magereza za nani magereza za kiroho bwana siwe uh, let me read for you sasa watu ambao uko hapa labda pia ni kama ye, nyumba yako Andika yasema mimi bwana nimekuita katika haki nami nitakushika mkono na kukulinda na kukutoa uwe agano la watu na nuru ya mataifa katika hali gani kuyafunua macho ya watu walio vipofu na kuwatoa gerezani wale waliofungwa na kuwatoa wale walio keti gizani katika nyumba ya kufungwa haleluya mimi ni bwana ndilo jina langu na utukufu wangu sitampa mwingine wala sitawapa sanamu sifa zangu. Now that is the ministry been called the ministry of what? But by the word of God. You preach fungua watu macho. You bring them out of prison. That's evangelism. Now that's prophetic. Bwana asifiwe. Na iko kitu kingine kweli sasa umeshajua kwamba wewe ni wanyasai. Binguni kuna maua kama hawa. At least leo mapeleko maana sometimes people think that these things we stage manage we rehearse them somewhere then waambia soma hii alafu kuje uende waambia watu. Huyu ametoka Nairobi. Eh? Yeye Nairobi ni soko ya mchanganyiko. Lakini Mungu ametoa mtu pale na I prayed here watu wa line hiyo wachukuliwa hapa. So she easily accepted the call. So binguni pale wakati mnakata kuimba hapa wale wakati wanaimba kwa ndimi huwa anapata backup ya malaika wale wanaimba so kipo fungua huduma hii ambayo ipelekwa kufunguliwa kuona visions za sifa jinsi ilivyo hapa ndivyo ilivyo juu pale so malaika wale wanaimba kutukuza bwana ndiye ameonyeshwa aone watu anaona he maua ndio mara ya pili pia kwanza kwamba malaika pia wanai wanaimba Ha? Kuonyesha wa Musa nabii wa Bwana Elia hawa ndio tunawaita watumishi wa Mungu waliokamilika wako kule. Wa nyumba yao mara ya kwanza kuonyesha nyumba. So ile ya kwanza ile ni nyumba kadhani ni yako ni picha kama utafanya huduma na upendeze Mungu apendavyo kazi yako ukimaliza itatokea kama ile. So that one is according to Matthew chapter number 6 verse number 9 to verse number 11 that your will be done here on earth as it is in so that what we do here in, on earth and how we manifest must conform to the original so nyumba yako ndio hiyo ukimaliza ufanyishe vile Mungu ametaka so sasa hizi nyumba yako ni matofari eh imefika hata kwa kwa dirisha bado so that's the mali yako umefikia so he which you work hard ukimaliza that's the perfect picture so lazima ufanye everything by that standard kio ya ya dirisha ni kama hiyo plaster ni kama itokee hivyo paka na rangi mpaka pa ikatokee hivyo haleluya so our good works Mungu akusaidie ufanye hiyo haleluya unaweza kiti Amen.